this weekend, <clears throat> excuse me, I got a, a question from somebody on the uh, YouTube channel uh, where I post videos regarding um, how do I or which pro post processor do I use to uh, work with my CNC machine. So if I come over here to this panel, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'm going to stop this here. You can see that this gentleman is asking, what post processor do you use for Aspire? I was looking at these mach machines from China and didn't see they were compatible with Aspire. Um, that was, uh, I gave him a reply. My Omni 1325 used G-code millimeter to start out to, uh, tap post processor. I see this is a concern, a legitimate concern this guy had about whether or not he should purchase a Chinese machine. It was a rather ignorant one, to be admittedly, because he should realize that there's going to be a post processor for a G-code executing machine to uh, to run. Okay, it just may be the most basic G-code post processor. But if you remember, um, Alan and uh, Amanda, I asked uh, what the post processor was, and I didn't use my machine my machine for several months, and I forgot. So where I'm going with this is this is all set up here first for my point. If you go into the folder here, this is where all of the post processors are for Aspire. You can see that there's G-code inches and G-code millimeter tap, excuse me, G-code millimeter PP, which is post processor for tap. So if we open this with a notepad, we can see that there's the post processor name, G-code millimeter star dot tap. So what is that used for? Well, if we come over here to Aspire and we say we wish to do some cutting, okay, we set up our, our CAD model and we're calculating all this, okay, so we go calculate and we get a little uh, notification there. Now that all generates the basic G code, okay? So now if I want to save my G code, it asks me, what is my post processor, okay? G code millimeter star dot tap, okay? Now, what this gentleman was getting at was that whenever you come in here, you can see that for many, many, many models of CNCs, they put their own post processor in here. Now, a post processor, if it has literally no instructions, it does nothing. But you can add the post processor in the folder so that people will know I'm selecting an Omni uh, CNC that does arcs inches with speed, okay, or something like that. See, these are Mach 2 and 3 post processors, multicam. If I go back, I can show you this is my post processor for my uh, legacy CNC, which I also uh, own. And so if I go over here to File, Open Application Data Folder, see there's post. P right there for post processors so I'm jumping around here I know um, I don't mean to confuse you what I'm trying to explain is that's the name that shows up in that menu okay now I could just as easily change this to Omni G code millimeters tap okay so let's say that I then close it and I'm not going to change my pro my uh, I'm not going to change my uh, file or anything like that. Okay. So let's go over here to Aspire. There it is. So I op open up the file again. And uh, once again, I'm going to save my, um, my G code. So if I go over here to save, you can see it says G code ATC inches with tap. Now, if I scroll down here, I will see that there is Omni G code millimeters star with tap. Now, this is not the way to do this, but this is 
I'm doing it this way to show you that it's very simple to do. What this does is allow the user, no matter what language they are using, to, um, to select properly and not be confused at all um, with how the software works. They would just simply pick this. So what I would do to fix this problem is I would go over here and pull out all my changes. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and save this as um, rename it Omni G code millimeters. Okay. Now I save that. Okay. So there are all of these. Now you'll notice that these are almost, um, they're kind of commented out. Okay. So if I come over here to Aspire and I close Aspire up and I come back and open Aspire, it will pick up those changes that were in that folder. And I go over here to Rocking Crib and I select the post processor. And I come down here and there is my Omnitech inches, arcs, inches tab, Omnitech in ATC, Omnitech arcs, inches. This is what these guys are asking for. Okay. And so they want to know is there a post processor that has specific information for their machine? Now, many people actually modify these files in a more substantial manner than what I did because they um, have special uh, requirements for their uh, machine. So where I'm going here with this is that um, the necessity to have that ambiguity removed from the uh, um, the machine and from the uh, code settings and all that makes people feel at least a lot better. So, um, it, you know, it's it really, really helps for this to be uh, um, in here so that people can just go to the menu and they don't have to worry about G code, whatever. They just select the uh, machine they want. And in selecting the machine they want, it, it has all the preamble settings. Okay? And so what these instructions do is they're formatting for variables, block numbering, line terminating characters. Um, you know, this is telling me that I'm looking for a file that has an extension tap and that the units are millimeters. And so all of this stuff, it's very basic. And if I wanted to, um, I could simply, all I've done is I've copied the uh, basic G code uh, with tap see, uh, file, and I've just changed this, which is the post processor name, which shows up in the dropdown, and I've changed this, the name of the file, so that whenever you come in here, you can see that the file is in there. Okay? So, where I'm going with this all is this goes back to my point about um, having things as unambiguous for people who are not native um, speakers of the, whatever dialect in Chinese that uh, you guys are speaking. And forgive me, I mean no insult by that. What I'm getting at is that people are afraid to purchase from you because they're afraid of things like this. Ambiguities that might take them a week or two to get resolved, which should only be a couple of, you know, a couple of seconds. Hey, which one do I use? So what how would you solve this problem? Well, you'd write a simple little program that would write that file into here, and then whenever Aspire starts up, we're all good to go. Um, you know, Aspire will pick up the uh, instructions on what to do. Now, here's one other thing about the, uh, the information I'm trying to give you here. When you start up Aspire, 
Okay, if I look at the properties on this, you can see that Aspire has an option to say the language equals English. That's what this means, ENU. So it, is, it would be quite easy for you to say you might want to create a new shortcut. Okay, so let's copy this and let's create a new shortcut. So now I've got a new Aspire and I'm going to rename it. And I'm going to rename it Chinese. I think that's the extension in um, I don't know why I've got so many of these, but so um, forgive me, I'm going to mess around here for a second. Okay, so there we go. So we saw that this is, has an option for Aspire to open up in Chinese. Okay, so now let's go over here, and because I'm a software developer, I know that the uh, encoding for Spanish is ES. Okay, now there's no guarantee this is going to work because this is experimentation right now. Okay, so what that told me was there's no language uh, post, uh, there's no language module for um, for uh, for Spanish. Okay, so let's go back here to Program Files, Aspire 8.5, Language. Okay, so ESP is actually, that's the name of the language that I would want to put in there. So let's go over here and we'll rename this ESP. Okay, so let's go to Properties. ESP, apply, okay. See now, so now it starts up just fine. You can see that all of the options in here have changed to language, to the Spanish language. Um, so if I were to see there's archive, gadgets, Zayuda, I don't have a, a clue what those mean in Spanish, but what I'm saying is that it's quite simple to change the um, the settings within Aspire externally, and um, and have it work exactly the way you want it to for your um, for Omni machines. Okay, All, because the modules already exist. So let's go back to where the modules were. And we can see that there's Korean, there's Japanese, there's Portuguese, there's Italian, French, Spanish, English, German, and I don't know what that CSY stands for, so I can't tell you. But there's no module in here for um, anything related to Chinese. Now, I realize that there are Sichuan and Mandarin and other dialects within um, China that might make it a little bit more involved, but don't you want to make this as easy as possible for the people who are using your uh, application? So, um, you know, the nutshell of it is, what is it that I'm trying to say? I'm trying to say, first of all, that there are people out there that are afraid to buy the machines because they don't have the first clue about Chinese and they're afraid they will have communication problems with you, okay? Secondly, it's a legitimate question, and so I had to explain to this guy that he needed to go into um, Aspire and mo modify the, uh, or change the uh, post processor um, so that it would, I'm drawing up something really quick here so you can see what I'm talking about. Calculate, okay, da 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 da. So I go over here and I, it, I'm going to change the post processor so that now I know I've got an Omnicode 1325 
um, millimeters tap plot. Okay. Now all that does is there's I can modify this file. I can copy this file, rename it, make modifications, and simply drop it into that folder. Okay. And then in the process in doing so, what I've got is an additional drop down here that works that just tells them a little bit more easily which post processor they should use. Okay. Secondly, whenever I go to the uh, shortcut for startup for Aspire, I can tell them uh, modify the properties file and use a language ESP. Okay. And that will make Aspire work exactly, it'll provide all of the resources so that it's in the Spanish language, okay? So there are two things going on here. Create a post processor for your files. The post processor can literally have almost no instructions in it whatsoever. Or you could copy the G code millimeter tap file and all you would have to do is change this name right here to Omnitech 1325, okay? And then that will show up in the menu. Secondly, go into the shortcuts on the 